Welcome back. So today we're going to be going over a little bit more of what we went over yesterday about how to automate our processes using Zapier. Today what we're going to do is we're going to use Zapier in order to post things on Facebook from when we add them to our Shopify blog. So let's jump into it. All right, so I'm going to show you a little bit more about how to use Zapier and how to automate your process. Now, this is again something that I use all the time. It's great for tying two systems together, especially if they have open APIs. Zapier has a ton of different applications that it connects to. So if you're ever looking to have some sort of automation done for when an action happens and then it uh, triggers something else, this is a good place to start looking before you have something custom built. So let's hop over to the screen and we will uh, we'll go through what we're going to do today. So if we're back here on our uh, web browser, uh, let's just go to zapier.com. And what we're going to do is today we're going to make it so that when something gets posted to Shopify, a Shopify blog, it's actually going to go and post it to our Facebook page. Now this is important because when you uh, create content, you want it to end up everywhere. You want it to be on your Facebook page, you want it to be on your Twitter, you want it to be on your Instagram, but each one might require a slightly different format in order to come out properly. Now there are great tools available like Hubs or sorry, like Hootsuite, which will allow you to do automated posts, but this allows you to do it quite easily without having to uh, having to uh, schedule anything. So when we're back on our uh, dashboard here, we're gonna click on Shopify. Again, this is a premium um, integration because it's, uh, it requires you to have a paid account with inside of uh, Zapier in order to be able to use these kind of integrations. Um, but once we're on Shopify Trigger, we wanna sh click on Show Less Common Options, and it'll give us a bunch of other options. Now the one we're gonna to select today is gonna to be New Blog Entry. So we're gonna click New Blog Entry, so this is going to trigger when a new entry is added to the blog inside your Shopify store. We're going to hit continue, um, and then we're going to pick an account. So let's go um, pick our, shop, our Sunbolt demo account and save and continue. And then we're going to uh, pick a blog. Now, the only blog that we have set up on this specific Shopify store is our news blog. So we're going to pick that one, and then we're going to go to continue and then it's going to pull in some blog entries. So we'll select the first blog entry, which is uh, the sample one that we did in the last video, and we'll hit continue. And then we need to add another step. So when you click on add another step, you have a number of helpers um, or actions. We're gonna stick to actions right now, but you have options to do path, which allows you to select different paths depending on criteria. So if, um, you know, if it's based on, uh, a tag, for example, it can go onto one blog, and if it's based on another uh, tag, it can go onto another blog. Uh, this allows you to set up a single zap for uh, a multiple uh, multiple actions. Really, really helpful in certain situations. Filter allows you to filter through them. Uh, delay allows you to put a small timer delay on it. So say you don't want to post it right away. Say you post everything on your blog first, um, and then 24 hours later, people can get it on Facebook, driving some, some motivation to go to your blog instead of going to your Facebook page. And then formatter, you can modify the incoming, con or the incoming data. Uh, this is a quite a complicated one. We'll get into this in a later video. So let's just go to actions in the search. And what we're going to do is we want it to post to our Facebook page. So we're going to select Facebook as our trigger app, and we want it to go to a Facebook page. So we go to Facebook page, and we're going to create a new post. And hit save and continue. All right, I have my Facebook pages already connected, so we can save and continue here. And now it's time for us to set up the template. So the first thing we need to do is we need to select a page. So I have a number of pages that I manage. I'm going to go and select our symbol page. And then we're going to put in the message. Now the message is basically an open text field that you can put into Facebook. Now you can play around with how you want things to pull up in here. Um, Facebook will format them based on what kind of content they are. So if there's an image there, it's going to put it in as an image. If it's a link, it's going to go off and it's going to unfurl the link and pull some of those items in there. There is not a lot of customization that you can do with inside Facebook or with inside Zapier for Facebook, but it's something to play around with and see what you get right. I'm going to just go and put in the title and I'm going to go and put in the body HTML. I'm actually going to put in the video URL uh, which is going to come up here. Oh wait, so this is, sorry, we're coming from, 
coming from Shopify, not from YouTube. So what we want to do is we want to write in everything that we've got in there. So we're going to hit the body HTML, which will be perfect. So it's going to post the title that we post on our Shopify store uh, on our blog, as well as it's also going to post the description. So just a, a, a quick in there. And then we will also probably want to put the link in there so that people can go and follow it to our blog so we can drive traffic from Facebook to our local blog. And we're going to do that by selecting should be a handle here. Yes. So we have to select the handle. So selecting the handle is essentially the URL handle that we're going to be uh, linking things uh, through. However, it's important to remember that it's going to have, there's more to the, um, there's more to the URL than just the handle. So what we have to do is we have to prepend it with the uh, URL of our store. So we're going to go HTTPS and for right now, our store is symbol-4.myshopify.com. And then because it's a blog, we have to put in the blog's uh, slug so that it goes slash blog, and then we can get the handle. So we've got a link set up there. Now all we need to do is uh, hit continue, and it will come up and it will allow us to post this to a Shopify store. So every time that we're, sorry, let, let us post this to a Facebook page. So every time we go and um, we're going to go and grab this URL and we can test it because it's pulled in our information. So we can go here. I'm just going to change this because it's actually going to be on a different website. B slash two pulls it up perfectly. Great. So now that we have, so now that we have that all set up, what we can do is we can go and turn this app on. So that when anybody ever posts something to our Shopify store, it will automatically post it to our Facebook page. Um, and that's basically how we set up a little bit more automation inside for uh, your blog posts inside of Shopify. Thanks for coming by. I hope that this was helpful for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if that's something that you're into. And we will see you in the next one.